Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Sim. We're back here in Lone Star Trucking, and we're going to be finishing our milling job, and that is going to Amarillo. So we're on our way to Amarillo, as the story song goes. Anyway, let's get fired up. Let's get on the road, and get let's get out of here. here. Hopefully, everybody's having a wonderful day. Wonderful. And we're not going to make a YouTube. We're just going to head out of here. There we go. Get ready to turn left. I guess I could. I don't need to drive on that curb, but I'm going to turn left here in just a second. Let's uh, bring up that other mirror while we're thinking about it. I think we're good. I think we're good. And we're gonna we're gonna be in the right hand lane here. I'm not sure if we have to turn, but go straight. We do have a green light. Good, fantastic. Yeah. So hopefully everybody's having a good day and uh, whatnot. I know I am. I'm. Keep right. Think this is a Sunday for me, so this is what I'm doing on my Sunday. I usually do these on Ghost Saturdays train. for me, and I just was so busy yesterday that I just didn't have the time to do the recordings. So, which is okay. Watch college football. My team lost. Sorry, being distracted right there, but. That's okay. Both on my team losing and on being distracted. You win some, you lose some. I feel like my team loses all the big games. Uh, it's not fictitious. They actually lose a lot of big games since the new coach took over. Get down into that gear. So we got about 210 miles to go here. Actually, I probably should put that in seven high. Is what I should have done there. By the time you're seeing this video, our More Freedom Convoy that we do will have surpassed its four-year anniversary, which was actually on October 10th. And uh, yeah, so it's surpassing its my our four-year anniversary this year for the More Freedom Convoy, which is awesome that we've been doing that for four years again my semi that I drive over there my Peterbilt is it's what I normally drive I've driven you know a couple different ones but for the most part that is the one that I drive the majority of the time and I know we're over 250,000 on that semi, 250,000 miles. And so hopefully, I mean, in the next year, we're probably gonna hit 300,000. Which is crazy to think about playing that amount of hours in a game and getting, getting my semi up to 300,000 miles. And it's basically the one that I've been driving the entire time. Ooh, 
downhill. Nope, get her into gear. There we go. There we go. I have yet to turn my graphics up in this game for since I got my new video card, which is crazy to think about because I bought a RT7600 XT, which was two. It was the newest version of the card I had before my 5600 XT, um, which they're probably coming out with the 8000 series probably soon, but. I went from, I skipped the 6,000 series and went to the 7,000, and I think I went to 16 gigs of RAM on this, and uh, the graphics in this game are still, uh, ooh. we'll slow down here. The graphics in this game are still set to the my other video card. I haven't even messed with them. And I think that's one of the cool things is, is that this, this game plays really well on even older equipment. For the most part, I know that some of our Convoy members do have issues every so often, but for the most part, it plays pretty good on older equipment. So that's pretty cool. Even with the... The things that they've done to it to make it better so pretty very very cool oh that guy was trying to pass me I didn't even notice it interesting very very interesting <clears throat> excuse me And, keeping score at home, this semi has 7,000 miles on it. So, I was hoping that guy would let me in. Hello, copper. Go straight. Took my eyes off the road for one second there and almost um, hit the back end of that trailer. This is a very, very heavy Go load. Straight. As you can tell by how much the truck is just, it's not struggling, but it's working. The truck is working hard for this. Got a little bit of hills. I wouldn't call them mountains. These are definitely hills. I don't know how close that semi is, but we're getting over.
watching all the traffic and everything else, just concentrating a little bit right there. Go straight. Kind of wish the four lane highways like this in Indiana were 75 miles an hour. That'd be awesome. Our interstates are 70, which isn't terrible, but I don't know, maybe, maybe a little bit crazy for Indiana at 75, especially on a two lane road. straight we're going oh again that's one of the things that I dislike greatly about this game is the AI literally slam on the brakes when they get to a speed zone they don't coast into it they slam on the brakes right I feel like they would be better served if they Turn right. went ahead and um, made it so they coast into those turn or into the speed zones. Like you're like okay, so it's coming up on a 30 mile an hour zone. Either they start, they just coast at a certain point, and that allows them to get down to that 30 mile an hour zone, or they coast past to get to 30 mile an hour, but they don't just slam on the brakes because a lot of times they slam on the brakes and they get down to you know like I was under 30. And we were going into like a 45. I had a slam on my brakes for that. So I'm just saying they should they should change. And, and maybe it's different in Europe, where these folks that make this game are from. And if you don't here in the U.S., like you coasted a 30 mile an hour zone, or you start braking gently at 30 mile an hour. It's not a slam on the brakes at 30 miles an hour and immediately get to it. This was my other profile. I'd be swinging in there to get that rest stop. Come on, <laughs> K100. I'll find a new route. Uh, I don't know why you're trying to find a new route. This is fine. This is a this is a just a fine route right here. Some say the best route. Thirty-six miles to go. A little bit of a yawn there by me. Hmm. 
we may actually get up to speed prior to getting to our destination. I don't know that we will, but we're trying. This Detroit Diesel is working hard. But KFB train action there. on the little U-turny majobber here. That guy almost took his life into his hands there. It's all over now. Where you guys want it? Just coast up here. Where should I place it? We're going to see if we can do this. Oh, uh, no, we're going to skip. Because there is a thing in... The, okay, we're going to confirm this. That's what I thought. There's no way I can back this trailer up. We're going to bring it up here, though. We're going to try it. We got to get in between these cones here, so we can at least give it a go. I'm going to put this in the outside view, which is terrible, actually. Hit my microphone. We might could do it. We might could. Oh, did it? Let's hit T. Uh, Let's go. It gave it to me. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. We got it. How much money did we make on this bad boy? 28,000. Very nice. And we're up to level 13. Nice. Let's see if we got any upgrades. Um... We could do hazardous cargo long... I'm going to throw one on fragile cargo. 
Or what's we got here? If I throw that on there, we are into class four flammable solids. I think probably like what's this one? Deliveries up to a thousand miles. Um, let's go with fragile cargo. We'll apply that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's check. Let's see what jobs we had out of here. Let's check to see real fast. Got potatoes to Tucumcari. Uh, let's actually go to here. So that's 30,000 crude oil over to Little Rock. Uh, 36 for a crawler tractor. We got 34 for a lift crane. Empty pallets. Rail car mover. IBC containers. We got some we got some options out of here, but that's going to do it for this episode of Lone Star Trucking. Next time when we come back, we're going to continue on and hopefully we'll get to level 14 next time, which will be awesome. Oh, we wanted to see if there was any upgrades we could do to our truck uh real fast, just real fast. That would be truck manager. This is our current truck. Upgrades. Now, we'll, we'll check that out for the next time. But that's going to do it for this episode of Lone Star Trucking here in American Truck Sim. Uh, if you, you know, like, subscribe, all those fun things that you would do on a, on a channel and all that. And I appreciate you coming and hanging out. And until next time here in Lone Star Trucking, take care.